Dunkirk topped box offices once again. Christopher Nolan's World War II film dropped 44% from its first weekend to bring in just over $28 million. The Emoji Movie, this is kind of surprising, opened with $25.7 million despite extremely negative reviews. I think it just barely made it past 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Girls Trip, Atomic Blonde, and Spider-Man Homecoming rounded out the top five. My son went to see the Emoji movie yesterday. What did he think? What was his he review? He said it may have been the worst movie he's ever seen. The thumbs down. Yeah, th <laughs> that's right. The thumbs down emoji for <laughs> sure. But he wanted to go to make fun of it. So I think well, that's what some of that is. Yep. Yeah. It was a concert-filled weekend over the Twin Cities. Boy, you had uh, Billy Joel on Friday, Florida Georgia Line Saturday, Guns N' Roses last night. Lots going on. Guns N' Roses, only the third big concert at U.S. Bank Stadium after Metallica and Luke Bryan. Kind of wondered what it was going to sound like after there were some mixed reviews on those first two shows. See our cameras arrive, uh, there as, uh, well, you know, we were all so much younger when we really liked Guns N' Roses <laughs> back in the day. About 50,000 fans at all. The band did take the stage a little after 8.30. They played for more than three hours. That is good. We hear the sound was great on the floor. Not so much in the upper levels. Upper levels. Very a, echoey. You know what? It's a glass top stadium, so I guess you kind of have to get your arms around mm -hmm. that. That's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Axl Rose slash Duff uh, McKagan, still a part of the band. And uh, a couple others fill in compared to the original group. Putting on a great show. Played all the hits. Welcome to Jungle, Civil War, Sweet Child of Mine, November Rain, Patience, Paradise City. These pictures from our photographer. Er, <laughs> Photographer slash producer Mike Brillo. <laughs> Wears a lot of hats. Uh, the Star Tribune review did point out that this is kind of a design issue Wah. that if you're in the upper level, well, it was designed to be loud for football games. Not yet for concerts. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so at a concert, some of that echo and that noise. They also said, again, long beer and restroom lines uh, and hallways were tricky to navigate mm -hmm. uh, as fans got there right at 8.30. So, anyway, Duff McKagan had a print symbol on his bass guitar and That's people cool. really like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple other big concerts coming up at US Bank. Uh, Coldplay on August 12th and U2 in a little over a month. Yeah, Coldplay, there are still a lot of tickets available. I looked over the weekend and they're at a good price point too at this point. Oh, so. good. Mm -hmm. If you want to check that out, mm -hmm. get on it.